Hello and welcome to the show. This is Everything Under the Sun. My name is Ty. Hope all of you have been doing incredible and treating yourselves well as much as possible at least. This is going to be a shorter episode, but I did want to kind of just touch on something that has been coming up for a bit now. And I think that's something that's so important because we don't realize that we're doing this and it's so detrimental to the path forward that we want for ourselves. And this is along the lines of affirmations and affirming certain things to ourselves. We look at affirmations often and we look at them and we think affirmations are good things. These are things that we're using to help to shape our future, to align us to the things that we want in our lives. We have all these positive affirmations that we write in, you know, like textbooks with affirmations in them that we can do daily. And these are all incredibly, incredibly powerful. But we don't realize on the other end that affirmations are everything that we're saying everything that we're saying to ourselves everything that we're saying out loud because affirmations are constructing the beliefs that we want for ourselves that's why affirmations are meant to be said daily these positive affirmations you say them daily when you wake up when you look in the mirror whatever it is you say them daily because you're forming a belief Affirmations are nothing but thoughts that we are saying over and over again to affirm the place that we are now. It's not where we want to be down the line. And when you write affirmations, the powerful affirmations will be the ones that's based in the present. I am powerful. I am strong. I am wealthy. I am abundant. They are in the right now moment because it is affirming in this moment, not down the line because it's always going to be down the line. If you're affirming, I will have this then yeah, maybe you will have it, but it's always going to be something that you're affirming for down the line. So you're always going to be playing catch up. You're always going to be running towards it. You're putting the carrot in front of you that you're never going to catch. Affirmations are based right now in the present. And the thing is, we, we do positive affirmations and we put them down the line. We put them as something that's in the future, but the affirmations that we don't even realize are affirmations the ones that we're telling ourselves daily, the things that we're affirming to ourselves that do not match up with where we want to be. I never have enough money. This is always too hard. Work is so stressful. I'm never going to get ahead. There are these things that we say to ourselves all the time that are affirming right now in this moment, the feeling of discontent, the feeling of worry, the feeling of sadness, of anxiety, of depression. We're reaffirming many of those feelings with the thoughts that we're pouring into ourselves each and every moment. And positive affirmations, they're great because they're helping to offset those thoughts. But as we go through our day, as we go through our life, recognize the things that you're affirming to yourselves that are not things that you want to live anymore. Everything that we affirm to ourselves, there is an opposite affirmation. If you say, I am well right now in this moment. That is a great affirmation to have. There is an opposite to that affirmation, isn't it? Now we don't have to bring our attention to that, but just as there's an opposite to that in the negative degree, if you think about your negative thoughts, there is an opposite to that. Challenge the affirmations that are no longer in alignment with what you want and change them to affirmations right now, based right now in the present of what you do want. If there is something that's been going on, ruminating within your mind for years and years, I'm not good enough. I'll never measure up. I'm always attracting this type of person, this type of energy. I'm never going to get ahead. I'm always struggling. If these are affirmations that you have been ruminating on, these are thoughts, these are beliefs that you have, that you feel that you hold within yourself. That means that there have been affirmations, things that you've been affirming to yourself that have perpetuated the foundation of that belief. Now it's time to think the opposite, affirm the opposite. Refine your affirmations to be something that is really targeting the beliefs that are are holding this foundation that no longer serves you. And many times we feel as though if we break down too many of these old beliefs, too many of these old patterns, that we'll find ourselves on unstable ground. But the truth is that as we create another foundation, as we create another foundation of beliefs, as we affirm these things to ourselves, we are stepping onto new solid ground and something that feels a lot better. And now it may feel strange 
as we venture into this new avenue, as you affirm a new identity of yourself, each and every moment we are new. And as you affirm a new identity for yourself, it may feel strange because it's something new. But don't allow the newness to be something that's frightening. Feel the newness and feel how it feels. Feel how much better it feels, despite the, the uncertainty of, of how it is because it's something so new. Despite focusing on that feeling, focus on the, the way that it's inspiring you towards new thoughts and ideas, new motions in life, new beliefs that are starting to compound on the old ones that are just saying, you know, I, my life is getting better and better. My life is incredible. I feel great in my life right now. I'm attracting all the best things. I am so abundant. And that will be the new foundation on which new affirmations will grow. And the sky is the limit with these affirmations. You think I am abundant and you find yourself in abundant situations. You think that's the sky and that is not, that is not the limit. There are so many more layers and layers and layers to the foundations that we create, but it's not until we get out of those old systems, out of those old pattern of beliefs. Stop affirming those things to yourself. Stop creating the affirmations that do not bring lightness into your life. That does not bring the, the things that you want and desire and feel within yourself that you want for yourself in your life. Don't allow those things to, to be in your mindset anymore if they oppose what you desire for yourself. Affirmations are so powerful, but know and recognize the affirmations that do not serve you anymore and affirm new things. So that's all I really had for this episode. It's really the fact that our words are so powerful, are the things that we think to ourselves, it's so powerful. Affirmations are incredibly powerful. And when we feel that the things that we're affirming are not coming to light. It's, it's up to us to recognize the system and patterns of beliefs that may be in opposition to that. And we may not even recognize it's even on the same subject. We say that we desire abundance in our lives. Let's say that we want financial abundance specifically in our lives. And we say, I'm affirming that. I'm affirming that in my life. And yet there is a belief that we hold that I have to work really hard for years and years and save up a lot of money in order to have financial abundance. I've been told since I was younger that money doesn't grow on trees and that, you know, I have to, it's, it's really a select few people that get to live an abundant life truly. These are beliefs that we have that we feel as though are facts. Just because we look in our society, we may see there are a few percentage of people that are actually very well off. And we think that because I see that in my life, I see that in the world, that that is a fact and that I have to believe that thing. But if that belief, if that so-called fact is something that is in conflict with the truth of abundance that you wish to experience, then that is very much connected. And it's up to us to affirm new things about the world in, in the way that we see it. Maybe there are more and more people growing abundance each and every day. Maybe there are more people than I can see that are incredibly abundant in the, in the place that I want to be. Maybe it's more feasible than I had previously imagined to have an incredible amount of abundance in my life, financial abundance specifically. We can change these beliefs and they don't have to be drastic things that say, I am abundant right now, that I am the one of the few people that get to have this abundance in my life. We don't have to create incredible leaps and bounds with the affirmations that we're we're wanting to move towards in our lives just change the belief so slightly change it to something that you know i believe that there's a way that we can all have abundance i believe that there's a way that i can have happiness and peace and prosperity in my life i believe that there's a chance that that's possible and even if that feels a little bit better than saying, I am abundant right now, I am prosperous right now, if that feels better, then go for that. We're migrating to new beliefs. We're migrating to new affirmations and things that we want for ourselves. So allow that to be a gradual shift, but recognize when something does not serve you, when a belief, when an idea does not serve you, move towards the opposite, move towards something else. 
So yeah, that's all I really had for this episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas or anything that I'd like to share, you can send that to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com. You can join any of the social media groups, Instagram, everything.sunpodcast, Twitter, at every sun podcast, the Facebook group, at every sun podcast, and the YouTube page, at every sun podcast as well. And yeah, that's all I got. I love you all so much, and I'll talk to you soon.